to I, I think that Andy Warhol's legacy um, should be viewed as a grave warning to society as to what happens when you give an autistic too much scope. <laughs> so you're not a, a f you're not a fan of uh, Andy, Andy Warhol? Warhol? Well, not particularly, no. no. It, it's a it's a warning to society about giving aut an autistic person too much scope. Um, Whoa, talk about a narrow box. Yeah, talk about a narrow box, there, man. Sorry, I, I do apologise, but hang the set, set. You can. What Andy Warhol did, he um, he evolved. He mass production, Model T Ford, all that kind of process that was reflected in society. That was given the accessibility to all of us to get hold of art, to actually have it ourselves, to actually claim it ourselves, to interpret it ourselves. Um, without that kind of mass production availability, we wouldn't have had. Um, the access to so much medium, as in pictures, photography, you know all that. You can get a Q QD. Yeah. Without Andy Warhol, and now that step that he represented or reflected society. Yeah. So he evolved. Okay, yeah. And it, it goes on nicely from you. I don't know your name. Anderson, yeah. Um, it's that uh, by, re by merely reflecting society, you're making work which has no longevity to it. So you're only giving work to people who are going to be alive today. When we're all dead and capitalism has died, which we all know it will do, whether you like it or not, um, the people in the future eras are just going to turn around and say, well, what did those dudes do? They did nothing. Because there's nothing there to... Because we just... Uh, who are you doing it for if you're doing it for your like, future generations? Surely it's about changing what's going on now, like, yeah, like well, propelling yeah, people to do things better. It's, like, it's just... I think art, sh art should be propaganda really? for the better. Well, I mean, maybe this question is like, what is the point of all this art? Because if it's about reflecting society, then maybe Warhol's got it right. If it's about creating some kind of antithesis of other values, then maybe someone, you know, like, like Whistler or somebody, uh, you know... Not, that not a good example. Yeah, not a good example, but somebody, you, someone can come up with an example. Maybe that's the idea. Or maybe it's about propaganda... And then so maybe someone like Hans Hacker or someone like that would be a good example of, of what art's actually doing, what it's all about.